Hello my beautiful angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that is new here. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise to their highest and best selves through style. Now today, I thought we would sit down and do a getting ready with me video. A lot of you have asked how I do my makeup. This gets requested every few months or so. So I thought I would just do a quick update with you guys and show you what's new, what I've been doing, what I'm still repeating. <laughs> so let's dive in. All right, now first and foremost, before I start anything to do with with like my makeup, I always, always put on SPF. So I've already done that along with my moisturizers to just hydrate and keep my skin lovely. Uh, but once that's all done, I go in with my Scandinavia primer spray. I've been using this for years. I love this. I used to use this on my brides when I would do makeup for them back in the day as well. So couple spritz. I like that on the face. I don't know, I find the Scandinavia, like their set, like setting spray and the primer, I don't know, they've just been go-tos for me for such a long time. And the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, because your girl has got some under eye circles. Oh my Lord. And I actually like to put it on my melasma as well, just so I'm not putting like a ton of concealer because I do find that the Hollywood Flawless Filter does have a little bit of coverage. It's not a lot, but it's a little something. So I like to just take my super sponge. I believe it's called the super sponge. I've been using the same sponge guys for a year and a half. This product literally blows my mind. Um, yeah, blows my mind. That's the only way to put it. So I'm going to pat that in under my eyes and like, look at the difference. It's just a little bit. Sometimes I'll wear this under my eyes during like on a Sunday, let's say for example, if I know Sean and I are like running to the grocery store or something, and Sundays are like my makeup free day, more or less. Um, so this tends to be all I do just for like a little bit of something on the skin, but otherwise to just let my skin breathe the best that I can. That I have been using for foundation, this RCMA, uh, this is a makeup artist like palette, if you will. You can use this stuff for like contouring, you can use it for like, your foundation, you can use it for concealer, you can use it as like a catch-all really for everything. I think they have two different palettes if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is what I've been using in the summertime just because this is my tan. <laughs> and uh, my normal foundation that I typically love, uh, the L'Oreal True Match 405, I just can't find in my shade at the local drugstore near to me, like like that works for my current coloring because this is obviously too light for me right now. So I've been using this and kind of, you can see like from how much I played in the, some of the colors, I'm just kind of using a conglomeration of colors to find the right shade and tone for myself currently. And I really like this because it's nice and light and it's not too uh, heavy for the summertime. I also love cream-based makeup for like foundation, for, I don't know, like blush, contours, everything, because it doesn't look as cakey on the skin, in my opinion, um, where sometimes powders, especially if they're not set right, end up looking a little heavy, if you will. So I love using this. So I'm just grabbing like a bunch of the little squares and I'm putting them all over my face in different colors just so I get the right tone, because even these squares aren't quite the right shade for me, so I kind of use like a mixture of everything. And then it turns up turning out beautiful. You can see, I'm looking very good. <laughs> because in the summertime, as much as I do want to cover the pigmentation I have on my skin, I also want everything to feel a little bit lighter, which is also why I like these products. I just, I feel like it's really nice on the skin, and again, doesn't feel too heavy for me. Oh, it's actually turning out pretty good so far. Um, so yeah, I really, I, I don't know, I really enjoy this foundation. So I may end up continuing it in the fall time and a little goes such a long way, like you really don't need much. So yeah, very much enjoying this. A lot of you have been asking for an updated vlog, by the way. Um, and Sean and I have just been, <laughs> not, well, I shouldn't say I've been busy in our backyard. Sean's just been doing a lot of work in our backyard, which I know if you guys follow me on Instagram, some of you would have seen snapshots of him like working on it. So if you guys want an updated vlog, it's not done because like everything which I've kind of explained before, like home ownership's expensive, right? We really want to take our time with things that we're doing in our backyard and make the right decision and not rush into anything. So if you guys want to see what we've done so far, <laughs> even though it's not finished by any stretch of the imagination, I'm happy to show you. Or if you just want to see a vlog and 
hang out with me, Sean and Charlie again, <laughs> then let me know and I'd be happy to do that. All right, next up, I am going to put on some concealer. That's always my personal next up or what I like to do. So recently, I've tried the RSA May under my eyes. I just don't like it, it's too creamy. And my eyes, like they're at that point where they've started to get a lot of like fine lines under my eyes. So I'm trying to look for other options that are a little on the creaseless side. I've tried the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I don't like it, uh, but I did try Fenty's and I didn't mind it, but I still don't think it actually offers much coverage wise. So I'm still using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear uh, Concealer, which looks like this. And I've been using the color 330 in the color Ivory. And I like to give her a good old swipe under the eye here and a little bit by my nose as well. So I always like to press it in under my nose first. And then once that's done, I like to press it in under my eyes. And then I like to also close my eyes and put it on top of my lid, just because I use this as a primer on top of my lid, just to neutralize the redness on top of my eyes and get it prepped for a little bit of eyeshadow. All right, now to set the under eye area, what I like to use is the RCMA. This is their no color powder. I don't know why that's not focusing. There we have it. Love this stuff, I've been using it for years. I just put it on a little makeup tray that I've got down here. Um, and then I take this ratchet looking brush because it needs a clean, so please ignore. Uh, this is from Sigma, it's their tapered highlighter brush. Um, which is probably a little bit too big for under my eye, but I don't know, I feel like it also fits really nicely. Is that weird to say? So I like to take a little bit and I just like to pat it underneath. And then once I do that, I like to dust it on top of my lid just so that I don't get any creasing up there. Next on the list, I like to tackle my eyes. And I have actually been using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes uh, makeup for eyeshadow. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that nice for the summertime? Oh, so lovely. They're like beautiful warm tones, which I love. So to, like for me, the summer, I've been just going super simple. I feel like I have this routine every year when I go in, into the summertime. I just like a little bit more simplicity in terms of like what I do with my eye makeup and everything else. And I've been finding as I get older too, I just don't like to fuss quite as much with my eye makeup. So I like to go in with the color peaches and cream, this really, really light shade here. And I like to use this as my transition color in the crease of my eye, or in this case, if any of you have hooded eyelids, the socket of your eye, because otherwise the color doesn't show up. And I just like to sweep it back and forth just for a little hint of color. I don't go too crazy, but I like it just to define my eye just slightly for the daytime. And just sweep it out to the brow bone. I actually go back in once more with one other color, and then I kind of leave it at that. And what I like to do is take peach tea, this one up here, and the peach cobbler, and I dunk the brush into both. Again, sorry, my brush is kind of dirty. And I will kind of make like a little V shape. So I'll start and sweep the color down to my lash line and then bring it up into the socket or the crease area. And I go back and forth that way. So just to give a little bit more depth to my eye during the day, but again, it's not dark, it's not dramatic. It just gives a little bit more oomph to my eye. I don't know, and I feel like, well, I mean, of course you get to do whatever makeup you want during the day. But to me, this just feels light and fresh for the summertime, like it's not too heavy, which is what I personally like. Okay, after that, I go in with my mascara and mascara primer. <laughs> These have been my ride or die. I don't think I'll ever change what I'm using, quite frankly, on my eyes. I always use the Voluminous by L'Oreal primer. I go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, mascara. This is in the color Blackest Black. I love it, I'm all about lash life. That's the one makeup product I would never give up is mascara, ever. I just love it so much. So what I like to do is go over each eye with one coat of mascara and then go back over it a second time once it's like starting to dry and do a second coat because I feel like it just makes such a difference in the length and like fullness of the lashes. Tell me what you guys think is like your ride or die makeup product down below. Is it lipstick? Is it mascara? Are you a concealer girl? Like what could you not, like if you were stranded on a desert island and you only got one makeup product the rest of your days, what would it be? Okay, 
Mascara is on, feeling human. It's all good. All right. So next step for me after I have that on is to put on a little bit of blush or sorry, not blush, although I will do that. But I put on bronzer just because I feel like the face gets kind of flat after you put on foundation. And just because I'm so fair, I like to add that little bit of color back. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder Brush. And I'm using a MAC palette that I bought God knows how long ago. Uh, I don't even know what color this is for the bronzer I'm using. It came with the kit. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it out. It is the color Trace Gold. This is the bronze color. It is absolutely beautiful. It's nice and light too, since obviously I'm so fair. So I don't want to like use a bronzer that's too dark just because it'll look like I threw mud all over my face. So I just like to put a little bit on the hairline. I don't go too crazy with bronzer anyway. I know there's some people, my girlfriend actually loves her bronzer. She just likes to throw it everywhere on her face. I just put it where the high points on the face where the sun would kind of naturally kiss the face anyway, if you were to spend some time outside. So around the hairline, the temples, top of the cheekbones, uh, just to give some color again to the face. But I, again, I don't go too crazy. And I always put on it in the smallest doses because less is more and can't take it off once you've added it on. So I always err on the side of caution with my bronzer just to be, yeah, just to be safe. But I love this color. It's so nice and light. And for me, it's nice and natural because again, I can't go too dark. I love some of the beautiful bronzy colors I see in stores and I wish I could wear them, but it looks like I smeared dirt all over my face, so I don't. <laughs> That's good, right? I know my melasma kind of peeks through still, but I'm learning to be okay with it because not everyone's skin is perfect and I'm not gonna drive myself crazy for something I can't control either. Um, yeah, but that makes me feel good. And then last but not least, what I've been using actually for blush is a new product or new to me anyway. I don't actually know if it's new, but it's a blush by Milani. I love their stuff. Look how pretty that is. It's sort of like a blush and highlighter in one, which is what I like. And this is called Blossom Time Rose. It says it's a powder blush, but there's definitely a gold reflect in it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that from there, but I really love this color. It's like a very pale, like rosy peach, which I find very beautiful. So I put it on the Sigma. Mm, oh, I can't even read that anymore. I think it says Duo Fiber Powder Blush, F15. So I use this and rather than putting my blush here, I've been actually putting it up top, closer to the outer portions of my eye and then sweeping it up a little bit. I don't know, I've really been enjoying that lately. And see, it gives that little sheen as well, like a highlighter. So rather than also putting highlighter on, I've just really been enjoying putting, like kind of packing the blush on. I'm having a bit of an 80s moment where it's all about blush for me, but it still feels very nice and light. So I don't feel like, like it's not the bad 80s blush. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like we all know what that looks like. But I really do enjoy seeing that flush of color on my cheek. I know there's some people that really don't like blush, but for me, I have really, really been enjoying it. It just, it gives such a cute little glow to the face, you know? I mean, I need color. <laughs> it's not just in clothes, it's everywhere that I need it in my life. I love color. Okay, and then last but not least, I am putting on a lip stain, or it's like a lipstick lip stain. A lot of you have asked questions about this when I've been wearing it in my videos. So this is a lip lacquer by Tom Ford. It was part of his summer line last year, so I apologize. I don't know if it is still available, um, but at the off shot that it is, this is the color In Ecstasy. And what I love about this is it looks a lot like a lipstick, but then it actually, it is like a lipstick, but it does, I don't want to say it dries down because that's not true, but it does stain the lips, but you still get the shine on it, which is the beautiful part about this product. I've, I love it so much. And it's this beautiful like coral color, so pretty. That, isn't that shine beautiful? But it's not overdone. Like I'm just so over the matte lip thing. Although I know everyone, like before anyone says it, like you have to wear a mask though. What's the point? But trust, honestly, like it will get on the mask, honestly. And I have gone to, like if I know I'm gonna be out a lot during the day, I will wear like a dried matte lip, but this is so much better <laughs> in my opinion. I just like more of that like shine on the lips. 
So anyway, this is my go-to even at home because it just makes me feel so much more polished and put together. But anyway, once this is done, that's it for my face, guys. So I'm gonna spray it down with the or the makeup finishing spray. This is the bridal version from Scandinavia. Boom. There you have it. So there we are my angels, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button down below. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.